Well, it's another contest. This time it is a scroll saw artistic challenge put on by Russ Clarity over at Simply Wooden Creations. And the theme this year is a scroll saw project centered around a clock. So stick around and I'll show you what I built. Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. Like I said, Russ Clarity over at Simply Wooden Creations is putting on a scroll saw artistic challenge. This year's challenge is a scroll saw project that centers around a clock. This is my entry. This is a called a mini grandfather clock. It's made out of walnut. It, the, it has uh, 540 interior cuts. It has a Roman numeral dial. The wood for this I got over at Habitat for Humanity. The Habitat for Humanity in my area sells urban lumber. That's lumber where the trees have been cut down mostly in the city and it's milled and then they sell it through Habitat for Humanity. This clock was a real challenge. I don't know how many hours I've had, I have in it, but it's a lot. I got the pattern from Wildwood, uh, Wild, I think it's Wildwood Patterns or Wildwood Creations. Uh, it's so, that pattern is sold through Cherry Tree Toys. I've got a video that follows. It shows the highlights of the build, and I hope you enjoy it. While I'm stack cutting a couple pieces of walnut here, these are the legs of the base. There's one set of legs done. <clears throat> now it's on to uh, another set of legs. Again, they're stack cut. And the second set of legs are done. Getting ready to scroll the lower front panel. And these are all inside cuts. And I just finished cutting the two lower side panels. I cut two of them, I stack cut them, but they uh, of course look the same. So that, uh, that part's done. Now I can move on to my next piece. Now I'm just stack cutting a couple trim pieces that go on the bottom part of the clock. Well, the lower level is glued up and in clamps. So after the glue dries, then we'll move up to the middle level. I still have to cut the pieces for the top level, but I'm waiting for my clock component to get here so I get the hole just the right size. Well, moving on, this is the center level front panel, and there's a lot of scroll work on this one. I'm just in the process of finishing up the middle side pieces. All I have to do is cut the outsides of them, all the interior cuts are made, and again, this is stack cut because I needed to make two of them. Just thought I'd take a couple minutes and show you all the parts for the, the center level. This is the base, and this is one of the alignment blocks. There's another one that goes on the other side. That's the front panel. That's the back panel. 
one of the side panels, the other side panel, and these are just some trim pieces that go on the outside. So as you can see, there's a lot of interior cuts on this piece. So now we'll move along to the upper level. Well, the middle section is now attached in clamps and gluing. So we're making real progress here. Well, I just finished making the two upper case sides. I think I've got, oh, maybe a half a dozen pieces yet to cut. So I'll be back after I cut another one. I've just finished cutting the rear panel for the, for the clock housing. This is how you gain access to the clock movement. This piece that I'm in the process of cutting is the upper front piece, and that's the piece that holds the clock movement. So I'll show it to you after I get it all cut. Well, this is the finished upper front face piece, and as you can see, this is where the clock movement goes. The piece I'm working on now is the upper trim piece for the front. And this is the last piece of fretwork that I had to cut. The top layer is finally under construction. And it's time to get all the trim pieces glued on. Uh, the next step is to put the roof on and then insert the clock movement. Now the roof is installed and the glue is drying. The only thing left to do on the clock is to insert the clock movement. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of my building my clock. I sure appreciate your taking the time to watch. And if you haven't, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, all the usual stuff. Till next time, thanks a lot for watching.